I'm not nuts, you're nuts. I mean, look at you. All you do all day is just go looking for crack. Ridiculous. Hey everybody, welcome back to YouTube's favorite underground climbing channel. I don't think we're going to be underground very long. You guys keep smashing that like button and subscribe button. We're zooming up now. We're climbing up, some would say. So, welcome to uh, Climbing Fails, installment 7 here. So, uh, yeah, you guys are still out there failing. Um, I've, I've come to a conclusion that we need a call sign now, all right? So next time you're at the crag or something, you see somebody, they're talking to you, you know, maybe they're gonna take you out to go belaying or whatever, they're gonna belay you, you guys are gonna go climbing. First thing you can do, just give them a wave like this. It's very subtle. This right here, it's the B. It's B in sign language. You got A, B, C, okay? You give them the B. This, this is gonna let the person know that you're a beta climber, okay? So you go over, just like that. Okay, it's simple. You set the thumb out. Just bring the thumb in. What's up? If he doesn't wave back to you like this, you don't. It's just everything goes just flying up in the air. You don't know whether that guy knows what he's talking about or not. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, let's hop right into these videos and do some analyzing, shall we? You can see that there's already a pattern forming with these, you know, the climbing nuts and everything. You, you can see there's a pattern forming on this episode. So anyway, yeah. Uh, next. So I'm just looking over this footage again. You can obviously tell that this number two Camelot wasn't oriented in the right position when I said it. I think the first time I tried to place it in the crack, it was a little bit too flaring and um, the size two was a little bit too small for it. And I was already getting kind of pumped from this position. So I just quickly reoriented, saw that the cam wasn't going to walk that much. But as I climbed above it, I didn't really take a good look at it again. And you can clearly see in this video that the, um, the wiring of the the top two lobes is kind of like twisted or like curved and traditionally if you're like climbing something at your peak level you'd want to uh, look down and um, readjust that but I I did not expect inspect the placement quite as good as I probably should have and it doesn't help that I just put my hand right above my, my arms like blocking I can Okay. Oh. Don't take, don't take. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It wrapped around my neck, dude. Slack, a ton of slack. That's a ton of slack. Slack, slack.
Oh man. Yeah. Okay, let's quickly analyze that video. So when he's when he's looking at the cam, he's looking down at the cam, he's saying that basically it's kind of lopsided. One of the cables is a little bit lopsided. One's straight and one's one's not straight. And that doesn't really mean much because once this is engaged with a rock, the wire can do whatever the heck it wants. So I think what he's getting at is that that was just a sign that one side of the cam was down a little lower than the other side, something like that. So it wasn't fully engaged correctly. And I think that's what he's getting at. So one side might've been down more and the other side not very, not very engaged. So when this pulls, and by the look, out, look of it, it's kind of at a side like this. So my guess is when, it came, when he took that fall, this side kind of, kind of fell down and then gave it a sideways jerking motion and it popped right out. So that was the first, that was the first uh, thing that went wrong. I think the mistake that was made was he could have placed more gear. I mean, he's got these pieces pretty run out. I mean, as soon as he takes a fall, let's watch his fall here. You know you're taking a really bad fall when the guy next to you gives you this look. If you see that face while you're falling, <laughs> you know you've messed up. His next piece wasn't for a long ways down. So I think his next mistake was um, you could do what's called zippering it up where you just put way too many pieces in a climb. But sometimes you could just put not enough and everything, every, uh, you're running it out to every other piece. You're just putting it way too far. And I think if he was going to have a hard sec, if he knew this section was going to be hard for him or whatever, Putting in a couple extra pieces would have been a good idea, especially down a little down below, because that's a nice that's a nice area to stick all kinds of pieces there. You could have stick stuck all kinds of things, but he had just plopped in one cam and then decided to kept on going. I think that was one of the biggest mistakes he made was he could have definitely put more gear in there. And people don't want to do that because you know it creates more rope drag or whatever, but. When, when a section looks like it might be getting pretty tough, it's a good idea to put some extra gear in. And I think the rope wraps around his neck the raw, like the, the bad way. What do I mean by that? Now I guess I have to show you. Okay, I stole my wife's bucket for demonstration purposes. Let's say you want to pull this up to somebody and uh, you could just throw little things in there all day long and pull it up to somebody. But as soon as you want to pull something big that go, extends out past the bucket, it's then going to topple over and fall out like that. So you can't just throw things in the bucket. So what you do is up here at the top of whatever that is, you put a little loop. You can't just wrap it around like this. So what you do is you make a little loop. And you put the loop so that it's pulling tight when you put the top of the rope is pulling tight. So the, ropes, the loop's kind of underneath this loop here see so you put that around there and then it kind of chokes it and grabs hold of it you see and then you can pull it up all day long so you just like that so I think that must have been the way it went, went around his neck if it if it went around this way I'm surprised it didn't pop his head right off maybe maybe it was just wrapped around his neck a couple times but that's crazy so Yep, I guess I spent a lot of time on that. That's crazy, spitting out blood and everything, man. Well, that's about all the time I got for this episode. If you like these Climbing Fails episodes, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that like button, hit the bell button, and I'll see you guys in uh, the next episode. Josh Perry, climbing out of here. Let me know what you thought about that. Later.